Welcome back. So in this part, we're going to be working more on the CSS portion and making everything look um, very similar to how I had it in the, in the reference and the one I showed you that I created earlier. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you think about the video at the end. Uh, just leave a like and comment uh, if you do like the video. So first, to make customizations to this, we're going to do it in the view. So if you go to the view, you're going to see this. So what we want to do is say, all right, um, in this return, which is this, we're going to give it width full, a height full, and then we're also going to say div, you know, everything. Give. Awesome. We're going to say class name uh, width is full, height is full, flex. So if we look over here now and we say just flex, it's going to do this. So if we just flex it, it's going to do this, uh, but it's going to go beyond the page. So what we can do is say flex and tell it what direction we want to flex in. So we would say flex, and then we'll say flex wrap. So as you can see now, whenever it gets to the breaking point, it just comes right under there. So flex wrap, uh, we're gonna give it a pad in a 10. So as you can see, this whole thing is padded. So we're gonna say on a medium screen, we want it to be padded five. So um, the whole thing's padded 10, sorry, but on the medium screen, we want it to be padded 5. Now we're going to say justify center. So we want this to appear in the center. See, it's still wrapped, but it's just appearing in the center. Um, and then we want the items in the center, um, and we want to align it in the middle. Okay. So we have this. Um, awesome. So now, in, when we come to the image, like I said earlier, we want to give it some space. We're going to do that in the image class name. We're going to give it a pattern of two. So as you can see, the pattern of two on each side just gives it this. And there you go. So if you search uh, Marvel, let's say. Everything's padded, and it's and the good thing about this is it's all responsive. So if you go to let's say an iPhone X, as you can see, it's all responsive. It doesn't matter how much info you have there; it's all responsive. Uh, okay, so let's close out of that. So we have our uh, we have our um, CSS for this. So before, let's just do everything on this page before we leave. So let's just do this. Okay, so now we want to say if, for example, if you, uh, let's, let's go here first. Uh, what we're going to do here is require this. So let's say required, and I'll explain why we're doing that. So the reason why that is required is because if you type in something here, if you type in nothing here and you search, now it's going to tell you, please fill out this field. If that's not there, if that required is in there and you don't search anything here and hit search, it's going to break the, 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 the page. Uh, it's going to cause an error because if you remember, you're doing, you're going, what is this? Okay, so if you remember in index.js, you're passing in a character, so this is always required. So if you pass in nothing and uh, send it to the server, nothing goes in there, so it's going to break. But uh, to avoid that, you can always require this. So if it's required, there's no way to send something that's not there. It just wouldn't send it. But if it's not required, it will send an empty uh, input and an empty input here would just break the page. Uh, I don't want to like 
do an example because it's a pain to like start the page back up. I have to close out of it and everything. But that's pretty much the whole uh, concept. So now I can type in whatever I want. Um, uh, spider. Awesome. So the problem comes when it's like, what now? What if I put something uh, like this that's not there? I just don't want a blank page. So what I can say is, let's come back here, search, oh, sorry, the view, go up here. What I can say is, give it and uh, give it some logic. So I said, if character information, like this, character information and character information dot results and character and the character information dot results dot length so the length of this is zero then we can say return Object. So return the div h1 the cat the character is not found. Awesome. So if I say um, this, the character isn't found. So why that works is because if I come to here, let's say I put Thor in here. So let's go back. Let's say I put Thor. Um, awesome. So if I put Thor and I come here to data, what does it say the length is? It should tell me what the length is. Um, is this for Thor? Okay, so if we have something with length zero, then it's going to tell me it's not found. But if we have Thor here, um, results, the length is eight. So with the length being eight, it's going to tell us whatever, it's going to, res uh, it's going to return whatever we asked it to return. But if the result is just blah, blah, search. Exactly. Okay, so there's nothing there to be searched. Like it's not gonna come out with anything, pretty much. The there's no on it. It keeps. I think it's just a. Yeah, there we go. So it keeps telling us that the length is zero. So because the length is zero, it's gonna say the character is not found. So we're going based on the length of this, not necessarily the length of what's, um, like I physically type in here. Not not this string but the length that this string represents in the database. So there's nothing there, it's gonna say this, but if I say something that um, has a length of more than zero, it's gonna populate. So we're gonna say Marvel. So Marvel is gonna populate, the, the thing's acting a little weird, but where is it? There it is. So if I say Marvel, it's gonna say the length is three. It's just taking a while to respond here, but you, 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 that's that's pretty much the point of what I'm trying to get at. So um, let's just take this out. So that's the. Uh, so we have this page completed. So if we go back and we say let's close this out. Let's go back and what do we have next? Um, we can work on. So we have the view done, this done, and now the about section. So the CSS for the about section, we're going to be using, so basically we're doing the same thing. We're just taking the CSS from the actual, like the one I already coded out, and we're just applying it. Um, so here we go. So about that results. Da, da. Okay. So what we want to do now is apply, um, 
a pad in to this. So we're going to say, and I'm going to show you as we go along what's going on. So we're going to say pad in ish three. Um, so let's, let's click on this. Um, and then let's save. Okay, so we gave it a little bit of pad in here. So that's for every, all the screens has that pad in. And then let's move this over here. So, uh, so pattern is three, and then we're gonna flex it just like we did with the last one. So we're gonna say flex and justify center. So we're moving this to the center of the page. And now we're going to say um, for the for uh, the header for the header the head in one. Uh, we're gonna say class name text center. So we're moving this right there to the text center, but we're going to bolden it. So we're going to say text. Um, actually, we're just going to make it bigger. So text, we're going to put a min. There you go. Um, you can use whatever. This is the CSS. I, this is the CSS properties I used. Um, you can choose to do it however you want. Uh, pattern Y3, so just move it down. Uh, and around a bit, um, yeah, just move it down a bit, and then we're gonna make it bold, like we said. So font bold, and there you go, Marvel Boy. So now we don't want this just like that. So what we're gonna do is um, add some CSS to Marvel Boy comics, so it doesn't look like the same thing here. So Marvel Boy comics. Uh, so what I did was say data dot name. With apostrophe s so it's giving us marvel boy and with the apostrophe s uh and then comics so this part is hard coded in just i don't think i explained that earlier so that part's hard coded in and then we're going to say text center oh sorry class name is text center so we're putting it right there we're going to say this is also text of eight min Eight v uh, eight v min. Okay, and we're gonna say um, py the same way we did it there. Py is three, and we're gonna say. Oh, actually, sorry, I was looking at the wrong thing. So we're over here. So the text is three point seven five v min. There we go. Uh, and then we're going to say font bold. So we don't need any extra padding. There we go. So this is what it comes out to. And now, uh, for the um, for the unordered list, which is this list, we're going to do this. So we're going to give it a class name of padding 3 flex. So just like I said, before with the flex it's going to go out of view um, depending on how long it is so we're going to say flex and flex wrap again there we go so if we look at it now as you see it's just it's wrapped but it just looks jumbled up so what we're going to do we're going to give it a um first of all we're going to make it centered just like we did earlier with the other one so as you see it's centered but we want to give it a pattern so when we go to uh, list items we're gonna say class name we're gonna center it uh, and then we're gonna say pattern y is two so we're giving it space underneath each of them and then we want to give it space amongst all of them so md um, pattern five so what we just did was uh, on a medium screen, which is what my laptop is, we gave it um, a medium and above, we gave it um, this uh, this styling, this pattern right here. Um, yeah, so now for the individual um, items, what we're gonna say is P class name text 
we're going to give that a 2.25 even. And all these numbers are pretty much arbitrary. You can change them to whatever you want to change them to. And we did that. And is there anything else we have to change? Uh, let's see. Yep, that's pretty much it. So, um, now the same question is posed if, let's say we click on um, Thor, right? And let's find one. Uh, so, okay, so as you can see in this one, there's no description. So, what can I say? Uh, rather than just leaving these t uh, these um, headers there, uh, we're gonna uh, respond with some kind of a error, not necessarily error, but it's gonna uh, take care of the of the message saying there's no description available for this particular one. So what I'm gonna do is come up here to this return, and I'm going to say let's just uh, sorry, where is it? Actually, we're coming to this um, description. So what I'm gonna do is come to this description, this P class. I'm just gonna do this because I'm gonna type it all out. So um, let's do this, and I'm gonna comment it out, out just so you're able to see it. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is say. Uh, P is equal to data dot description, correct? That's what we have here. But we're going to say if the data dot description is available, uh, is available, then um, continue with the description, data dot description. However, if there's no description, type a uh, message, input the message of no description is available at this time so as you can see that's what it did because there's no description so this logic states if there is a data dot description then insert data dot description however if there's not then put no description is available at this time so let's just uh, uh, add some CSS to it we're gonna put a, a patent X of five and that just moves it a bit over we're going to put text center uh, and then we're going to say text 3.5 min so it's going to say no description is available at this time uh, we're just going to comment that this and we're pretty much good to go now the problem is there's no way to get back to this so if I click again, I go here, everything's there, but I can't get back to that search button without doing this, without hitting that. So this is where, let's just go back here. Let's go back there. So this, oh, before we go, let's just take out this console log. We don't need it. Um, anything that's console log, we don't really, let's just search. Okay, so there's one here. We don't really need the console logs. Uh, let's see. Okay, so let's go back to about. So in our about section, let's uh, bring up our reference again. Let's close it out. There it is. So in our about section, we have this button here that um, it's a go back button. On a click, it goes back. So let's let's build that out. Uh, it's going to be right underneath here. So, I'm going to div. I'm just going to copy it here. Yeah. So, we'll do that. Uh, so, we'll do this and comment it out. And we're just going to build it together. So, we're going to say button. So, let's just start with button first. And then we'll create the on click function. And we're going to say it's called search. So it's going to go back and be called search. So we're going to say, okay, if we look on the page now, you can see it right here. It says search. 
So what we're going to do is give it some CSS. Let's just close this out. See that? Awesome. So we're going to say search uh, class name uh, text center. That's the div. The div has to be centered, not the button class name. Text center width is full, height is full. So it should move right there to the center. But it looks just like every other thing we have there. So now we're going to um, add some class to the button. It's going to be background green uh, with 500. That's just the CSS. Uh, that's just Tailwind CSS method. Uh, if you look at it now, it's just that. So what we're going to say is um, add in 1.5. Okay. And we're going to have it rounded. Okay. So there you go. There you have it. And all this is responsive. So if I inspect it, and I go to like iPhone, what's the smallest um, iPhone here? It's not iPhone 6, 7, 8. This is how it looks. So it, it fits right onto the screen. And if you go for what's a huge phone here, next up, it fits completely on the screen. So it's fully responsive. Um, let's see. Okay. So now for this logic of the button, what we can do is let's come here. So we're going to have to come here. Let's see. So let's just copy it from here. Um, okay. So first, we're going to use um, constant navigate, and it's going to be use navigate. So as you can see, it's it's been imported, and then we're going to create this function called go back, and it's going to be an arrow function that states navigate. And we want it to go back one. So we want it to go back one page. So that's all that is. And then we're going to say button on click. And it's going to be called go back. Awesome. So now if I click this, I go back one. And there you have it. It's all set. So I made mine. Yeah, I believe that's all we have to do here. Yep. So we're done with the reference. So I made mine all black. Um, so you can keep it as this. If you wanted to make it all black, the, the, let me just save all this. The simplest way I did it, I believe, was I just went to index.css and I just made, you know, so I'm going to make sure I'm doing the same thing that I did on mine. So index.css. Um, okay, so we're just going to copy this and then I'll explain it. that and then I'll comment it out. All right, so close this up. Close this. What I did was let's make this bigger. Was um, I imported this the fonts from Google? It's called um, fa uh, Open Sans. Uh, the family is called Railway. Um, I, I I just I got this from a uh, Google fonts, and then I imported this also it's called uh, great vibes it's also another family there and then i made the background of the whole um application black um these are just the tailwind css um uh, components here it's the same thing uh so for this i made this is how you uh, you can set stuff in uh Tailwind CSS. So at layer base, so, so the base layer for the HTML, I made the font family Railway Sans Serif. So I believe that's this one. So I made it that. And um, so we're just going to keep it with that. So we'll just delete all this. We don't really need this. Um, just do that. Delete. 
Well, you just copy this also. It's not that big of a deal. You can keep it how how it is now. I just prefer to do this. Um, so when you do that, and look at it. So as you can see, everything becomes dark. So what you want to do is say search, uh, or you go to all your um, things. Let's see. Uh, about. No, you want to go to search. So for the input, you can just say uh, class text white. So that's Marvel characters. It's more, it just looks more bold. Um, like I like the font better. And then here, um, you can now make the border white. And there you go. So if I hit door, it pops out. If I click on this, as you can see, it's darker. So what I can do is, it's just a quick fix. I come up to about, and I just find the, uh, the div that covers all of it. So I can say this div right here. I can just say text center. Oh, sorry, text white, font white, or text white. It's white, as you can see, everything shows up. Now I do the same thing for the comics, and I say uh, find a div. This is the, uh, it's not that one, uh, it's da, da, da. Da, 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 URL. So let's find the URL. Actually, we'll just make it this. Let's find class name, text, white, and there you go. So that works out too. So you can just, rather than like having to put it here and then here, you can just put this whole div that covers everything. So it'll just make the search also white. And it's still responsive. Um, everything's still fine. It's still responsive, as you can see. I just change the layout. And that's pretty much it. So if we go back, so if you want to go back, you can say uh, uh, shield. See, character not found. But I don't want this here. I don't want the character not found here. So what I can do is I can go to uh, search. And no, it's going to be view. Sorry. So I go to view, character not found. So we're just going to. Put some class on this once again i could do it right here but i just want to mirror what i already have so that's just a lot easier um, so if i mirror it it's, um, character not found. there we go so it's a copy um, i'm just gonna do this and then comment it out so we're gonna say let's just Drop this a bit. Class name with is full. Height is a hundred view height. Or flex. So if you flex it, it starts at this side. So you have to tell it to go center, justify center. Uh, align middle. And items center. So the reason why we're using I uh, so the reason we're using this actually is so we can give it a, 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 a numeric height. So if we just said height full, it's not gonna do anything because it's it's taking a full height of the of the div currently. But we want to give that div a numeric height. So a uh, numeric uh uh view height. So because we're doing that, because the parent div is 100 view width, and we want to center it, so it's going to center it in the middle of 100 uh, view height. So let me do that. It goes down there. And then now we can say, um, where is it? We can say height one class name text uh, 7 in. There you go, that character is not found. So now, if I iron, 
See, it, it just populates and it fixes itself, like it wraps itself. So, uh, this is Iron Fist, I believe, Iron Man. Uh, so, if you click on any of them, Iron Patriot, it says blah, blah. Um, you can, if you want to, you can fix the uh, pad in between this, or you can just move it down, either or. Um, that's how I liked it. So, uh, so if you said Iron again. Now, for the image not found, this is the default image not found, like from Marvels. That's pretty much it in terms of like the tutorial. Um, this video is already long enough, so I'm going to make a second video on how to render just this application um, to both Hostinger and Render.com. So Hostinger is a paid service. Uh, Render.com is a free service. But, but yeah, so thank you for... Uh, taking the time to watch this video uh, leave your comments in the uh, in the comment section and uh, like if you enjoyed the video I'm gonna try and put a couple of more projects up periodically uh, this is just something I really enjoyed so I thought I'll just share it uh, let me know how you like it um, it's my first video so a lot of things are really stretched out I try to explain everything very thoroughly to the best of my knowledge um and let me get your feedback well thank you so much uh subscribe and like uh, the video if you like it and don't forget to leave a comment